Good morning, Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again this morning. And I uh, um, was reading a, a, an article that really makes you stop and think, I need to check something. Sorry, I want to make sure the mic was turned on. Um, I was reading an article that really makes you stop and think. There were this, there was this group of students that were going through an experiment <clears throat> uh, at Stanford University, and they had them watch a basketball game, and they wanted them to count the number of passes that took place in the game. And so these students are watching the passing intently. Uh, they're they're supposed to just keep track of how many passes are, are done throughout the game. <clears throat> And as they're doing this, about halfway through the game, a guy guest, dressed in a gorilla suit runs out onto the floor and starts beating his chest um, and then goes and sits down. And after the game, after the thing was over with, all the students could tell how many passes they counted, but only two of the students even noticed the gorilla. It was like they were so intent on counting the passes that they completely missed this gorilla. They missed the chance to see the gorilla. It made me think about how over in um, over in uh, Matthew chapter two, beginning in verse four, there was there's the uh, situation where Herod had been asked by the wise men, where is the one that's born the king of the Jews? And so it says, And when he had called together the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. That is, Herod asked. And the, they responded, In Bethlehem of Judea, they replied, For the this is what the prophet has written, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. So Herod had an opportunity in that moment. He had an opportunity to, <coughs> to go and worship. He had, a, he had a chance to go and worship Jesus in that moment, he had an op he had a, he had a chance to to go and recognize the Messiah. He had a chance to go and see. He had a chance to become someone great in history by being the one that acknowledged the Messiah and lifting him up before the whole nation. And and you know he had he had a chance that he completely missed because he was so focused on the idea that there might be somebody coming along that might eventually take his king. He didn't realize that Jesus wasn't there to set up an earthly kingdom, but instead of becoming a celebrated king who was the king that was there when the Messiah was born, who was there to, to honor and worship the new Messiah, instead of being that king, he became remembered as the ruthless king that killed all the babies in trying to destroy the Messiah and trying to destroy, destroy Jesus. You know, we have a lot of chances that come our way. I, I heard about some 3M researchers who were trying to come up with a new super strong adhesive. And in the process of coming up with this super strong adhesive, or trying to, they came up with a very, very weak adhesive uh, as one of their attempts. And all the other researchers just passed it off as a failure. But one of the researchers saw an opportunity with it. And that was the adhesive that was used to make the post-it notes. And we're all glad that this guy didn't walk away from that. He didn't miss that chance. But all the rest of the researchers did. My, the, the point I'm getting at is how many chances with God, how many chances with Jesus have you missed? How many chances, if you're somebody that happens to be watching this today that's not a Christian, how many chances are you going to let pass you by to receive Christ as Savior? If you're watching this today and you are a Christian, how many chances are you going to let pass you by to worship God, to be in a deep relationship with Him, to serve Him, to do something wonderful in His name? How many chances are you going to let pass you by? I want you to keep in mind, I want you to think about Herod and the amazing chance that he had that he let pass him by because 
he couldn't get his eyes focused on the right thing. So, today, don't miss the chances that Jesus gives you in your relationship with him and in serving him in your relationship with others. Something to think about today as you go through your day. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. It's kind of rainy and freezing rain. It's calling for all sorts of nastiness out here today. But I hope that you have a good day. I hope it's a day that's filled with blessing. And I hope it's a day where you will take every chance that is given you by God to move into a deeper walk with Him and to just enjoy your relationship with Him. Well, you have a great day. If this is a blessing to you, as I always say, share it with somebody else. I will talk to you I guess on Monday, I've got a lock-in to do tonight with a bunch of kids, and so I probably won't be sleeping tonight. But I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you Monday. God bless.